Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this cardigan you will need a weight 4 yarn and an 8mm crochet hook. Don't forget you can find the free pattern on my blog crochetwithcarry.com if you want to go and check that out. So begin by making a slip knot and chain 66 for a small and medium, 73 for large and extra large, 80 for 2XL and 3XL and 87 for 4XL and 5XL. So next you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then you're going to single crochet into each chain all the way down. So at the end of that row, we're going to chain up three. Then we're going to turn our work. And that chain three counts as your first double crochet. So skip that first stitch and then work into the next one and make a double crochet. Then we're going to skip two stitches and then into the next, we're going to do a puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull your yarn through, yarn over again, insert your hook into that same stitch once more, pull your yarn through. You have five loops on your hook, then yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch again, then pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all these stitches, but not that last stitch. So now you have two loops on your hook. So yarn over and pull through those two loops. So there's your puff stitch made. So next we're going to chain two. And then we're going to make another puff stitch into that same stitch. So yarn over. Insert your hook into that stitch, pull your yarn through, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook again, pull your yarn through, yarn over and then insert your hook once more, then pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all those loops except that last loop. So you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops. So next you're going to skip the next two stitches and then into the third, make a double crochet. And then you're going to place a double crochet into the next stitch. So you're going to repeat that again. You're going to skip the next two stitches, then make your puff stitch, your chain two, and then a puff stitch into that same stitch. Then you're going to skip two stitches and then do two double crochet. So repeat that all the way across to the very end of the row.
So here I am coming up towards the end of the row. I've made my last two puff stitches. I have four stitches left. So skip the next two and then work two double crochet into the last two stitches. So this next row is going to be our repeat row. So you're going to chain up three and then turn your work. This chain up three counts as your first double crochet. So we're going to skip that first stitch and then work into the next and make a double crochet. Now we're going to be working into this chain two space between your puff stitches from the last row and into that we're going to make our first puff stitch. Then we're going to chain two and then work your second puff stitch into that same space. So next we're going to make a double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row. So make your first double crochet and then your second double crochet. So you have two double crochets. So you're going to repeat this all the way across. Your next stitch is going to be a puff stitch in between the chain two from the previous row and then you're going to chain up two and then make another puff stitch and then you're going to do two double crochets after that so you're going to repeat that all the way across to the end of the row So once you reach the end of the row, you're going to make your double crochet on top of your double crochet from the previous row. And then your last double crochet is going to be on top of that chain three. So you're going to repeat that row over and over again until you have the length of cardigan you want. For me, I did a total of 34 rows. If you want less rows, if you want a shorter cardigan, just do less rows. If you want it longer, do more rows. So once you have the length that you want, we're going to single crochet all the way across. So begin by chaining one and then single crochet into every stitch. That includes the top of every puff and every double crochet. Once 
When you get to the chain two space, you're going to place two single crochet into that space. So when you reach the end, you're going to place your last single crochet on top of that chain three. And then you're going to fasten off and cut your yarn. Make sure to leave a long tail. So this is what your back panel is going to look like. So now we're going to make our two front panels. They're made in the exact same way as your back panel, only lesser stitches. So you're going to begin by making a slip knot and then chain 24 for small and medium, 31 for large and extra large, 38 for 2XL and 3XL and 45 for 4XL and 5XL. So single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into every chain all the way down. So for the next row, you're going to do the exact same thing as you did for the back panel. You're going to chain up three, then turn your work. This chain three counts as your first double crochet. So skip that first stitch and then into the next, make a double crochet. Then you're going to skip the next two stitches and then work your puff chain two and puff into that next stitch. Then you're going to skip the next two stitches and then you're going to do two double crochet. So you're going to repeat that all the way across. It's the exact same thing as your back panel. Your next stitch is going to be, you're going to skip two stitches and then you're going to do a puff, chain two, a puff into the next stitch and then skip two and then do two double crochet. So repeat that all the way across to the very end of the row. So you're going to repeat the same pattern as you did for the back panel and do the exact same amount of rows that you had for the back panel. And then you're going to single crochet all the way across the top, just like you did with the back panel. So you should have two long strips like this. So now we're going to move on to our sleeves and we're going to chain 31 for small and medium, 38 for large and extra large, 45 for 2XL and 3XL and 52 for 4XL and 5XL. So our sleeves are the exact same pattern as our back panel and our two front panels. So single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet all the way across. And then repeat the exact same pattern as you did for all the other panels. 
I did about 14 rows of the puff stitches. So you do whatever amount of rows you need for your length of sleeve. And then don't forget to single crochet all the way across the top when, you're, when you have your length of sleeve done. And then you're going to fasten off, leave a long tail and then put to one side. So now you're going to grab your back panel, lay that on a hard surface, make sure that the V-puffs are facing up the way, then lay your front panels on top. Then you're going to attach your yarn to the top and you're going to slip stitch across here, cut your yarn, then attach your yarn to the other side and then slip stitch across and cut your yarn again. So once again, just make sure that the V-puffs are all facing in the one direction, upwards. So now you're going to lay your carriage again out flat just like this. Then you're going to grab a sleeve and fold it in half like this. Make sure that the puffs are facing up the way. So fold that in half and where the fold is that's your middle stitch. So grab that middle stitch and then grab a stitch marker and insert it into that stitch. Then you're going to open out your sleeve again and you're going to line that stitch marker up with the shoulder seam. So line it up and then attach your stitch marker to that shoulder seam. You can add more stitch markers just to keep it in place if you want. And then you're going to slip stitch all the way across.
and then cut your yarn and fasten off and repeat on the other side. Once you have that done, you're going to fold your cardigan over and you're going to slip stitch up along the sides. So now we're going to tidy up the inner edge. So we're going to attach your yarn here and then single crochet all the way up, all the way around until we meet the other side. So once you get to the other side, you're going to cut your yarn and weave in all your ends. And that's your cardigan finished. Don't forget the written pattern will be on my blog, crochetwithcarry.com. So if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Until next time, take care.